Hey guys. So this is one of my very few live streams. I just got done with Uphill Media um, this morning and I thought we had a really good conversation. Uh, apparently I kind of interrupted a little, I just get a little passionate about climate change. Um, we're not doing enough and it's really imperative that people know like the urgency of the situation. It's seriously like there's a meteor coming at us and if we don't do anything about it, we're going to all die. I mean, I wanted to title this video, we're all going to die. That's, that's pretty much the gist of what I get after listening to scientist after scientist after scientist um, appraising the situation. We pretty much have to change every little part of our, our existence. It's, it's insane um, how we live. It, we've been trained to live in society, um, to depend on grocery stores, culinary water, uh, power that's driven by coal and, and oil, and we need to change that. So I was hoping to have a little discussion. I don't see anyone on, which is really sad, but, you know, maybe you'll watch this later um, or jump on while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to what's going on and, and what I've found is the the melting of the sea ice is absolutely devastating and happening faster and faster. It's right now six times faster than scientists have predicted. And likelihood of that even like exceeding that is is incredible. Like it's gonna keep doubling and doubling and doubling and we are going to experience some really severe effects, uh, not not in in the distant future, not a hundred years from now, not fifty years from now, but now, in the, in the next couple of years, I mean, we're already experiencing it. If you can't see the severe change in in weather patterns, there has to be something wrong with you. Like literally, there are serious changes in in weather patterns and, and I mean, just the devastation and we can't keep up with it. The fires, the, the extreme heat waves, the, the droughts, the lack of clean water. How on earth are we going to keep up with that? We have to change everything about how we live. We have to get rid of factory farming, which is contributing to killing the ocean life um, and streams and rivers. I and mean, we have algae blooms in our, in our lakes here in Utah and they never contribute them to, to anything. They never say how they're caused, but the truth is they're caused by agriculture, uh, the, the big agriculture and, and all, all the chemicals being pumped into, into the lake. Um, Utah, Utah Lake, I didn't look it up. It had, it's had a huge algae bloom in the last two years. And the media doesn't talk about it. They don't talk about what is the cause of it. They're just saying, oh, it's dangerous. We're going to have to close these beaches because of the algae bloom and don't go near it. But they don't talk about the actual cause of it. The cause is all the pollutants going into the lake. We have to get away from factory farming, away from big agriculture and start doing permaculture and, and small farms. And it's a long shot. Even if we do all that, it's a very, very big long shot that we can save the planet. And that scares me to death. I'd at least like to see my kids and my grandkids survive long enough um, to have a good life. and. It's not looking good. It's just not looking good. It's devastating. It's horrifying. It's unbelievably terrifying to think of, of what's going to happen. Since I was a, a teenager or even preteen, I remember having nightmares about catastrophic events 
And I, yeah, I'm not religious or anything, but I do believe in some variety of, of connection with other, other life or premonitions of some variety. And I have reasons to believe that. Um, I'll tell you about it sometime, <laughs> but I think there was a reason why I had those devastating dreams. They were just nightmares. They were scary. Uh, tornadoes, floods, um, just catastrophic events that have been ingrained in my memory. Uh, and they were just, they were dreams. I'd wake up terrified and they were just dreams, but I've never gotten over that. And, you know, maybe that's why I'm really super sensitive about it and, and trying to learn more because I, I've been, um, woken up in that way, like from an early age and, even in science class when I was a kid, when I was learning about ecology, ecology, ecological systems and, and, um, science, it was, it was really scary to me to think that every living being depends on every other living being. There's a chain uh, of life chain of events and, I could understand it. It made sense to me that every living thing depends on every other living thing. And to see the level of extinction of animals and just the mass of, of animals that has disappeared off this planet in such a short period of time, we are going through, through an extinction and be very, we're going to die. anyway. we're going to die. It's like, we're all going to die. It's, it's just a matter of how long it takes to get us there. And I'm hoping we can slow it down a little bit and maybe warn people to quit having baby after baby that's going to end up suffering tremendously. It's just a matter of time. So I am... <laughs> being interrupted um yeah so i guess no one's showing up so i just wanted to get that point out there that we are definitely headed down the wrong path and we don't have time we we don't have time to elect new people we we just don't we've got to get the people in power now to do the right thing and declare a state of emergency like a global state of emergency in every city state town country and utilize our military that's our only hope it's really our only hope utilize the military all the resources of the military need to to combine with the scientists and their minds and try to solve this problem or at least slow it down i don't think we can solve it at this point but slow it down hopefully enough that we can find some other solution. I'm really hoping for some kind of scientific miracle. I know I get teased for, for that because that combines religion and miracle, whatever. Lisa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, I'm almost done anyway because, yeah, I'm just almost done. But thanks for showing up. You're so sweet. I really wish I could be on Sunday. Uh, I need that release. Um, a little lightening of the mood after my stress. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. I'll be back on as soon as I can, for sure. So after, next week, for sure. Not this, not tomorrow, but next week, I'll be back on with you. And I'll watch and relax and enjoy your fun games. Um, I wish I could, but I'm on. I'm doing an interview with uh, Graham right at the same time, and it's real with Dave, um, independent outsider. We're doing an interview with Graham, and it's hard to schedule. Unfortunately, it lands right at the same time. But the week after that, I'll be there for sure, for sure. It'll be a priority. So anyone. Who watches this join lisa hauserman for her games because oh my god it's so much fun and it's just a good release after all the stress and pressures 
of politics. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Dave is awesome. He went to that event, um, the Extinction Rebellion in New York today. And so we're going to do a little thing about that with Graham in on Uphill Media. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. You're awesome. There needs to be more people like you for sure in this world. We need that. We need positivity and but intelligence as well, which you have. So anyway, if you get a chance, check out Lisa's Lisa Hauserman's channel. She's great. She's so much fun. Um, <laughs> but I uh, basically, okay, I got distracted by Lisa, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we need to declare a state of emergency and put all of our military resources towards solving this problem if we're going to survive. Ah, oh, no way. <laughs> Lisa's commenting too much. She's a troll. Oh, my God. That's, I had that happen. That's crap. <laughs> oh, you, you're the only one on here. How the hell is that a troll? Oh, my gosh. Look, Lisa, I got crazy hair, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so my big point. My big point is military. We need to push our military into doing something good instead of interventionist wars. We don't need to invade Venezuela. We don't need to to keep our military in other countries, keeping them down and taking their oil. It's ridiculous to even go there. We just pull them out, put them on a task to save our freaking planet so we all don't die. That's my point. We need to combine the military and the scientists together so we don't die. It's not looking good. It's really not. There, there's a lot of scientists out there that say it's it's irreversible at this point. And, and I am an optimist, so I'm really hoping that that's not the case. And, it, and, and we really need to look at it like a mil, a, a meteorite is coming right towards us and going to kill us all because that's the point we're at right now and we need to find a way to fix it or find a way to live with it which we're not going to live with it starvation lack of water wars over water and food mass immigration from places that that are unsustainable for life i mean when you think of how many species have already become extinct in the last 40 years, it's insane and it makes me want to cry. It's just, it's devastating. It's devastating. So uh, I just wanted to get that out there. Thanks, Lisa, for showing up and um, to all y'all when I talk to you next. I'm going to be interviewing with Graham, like I said, uh, tomorrow. Probably won't be posted till Monday, Tuesday. Who knows? Um, Dave's going to be on. Independent Outsider's going to be in the interview as well. We're going to be covering um, some protest information, uh, fake protests, real protests, and try to get some information out for y'all. Um, Anyway, look forward to it, and I'm probably going to not, I'm, I'm going to try to do another video tomorrow because I only have the weekend. Uh, I'm pretty busy uh, with my job right now. I've been working really long days. I didn't even get off work till like 9 p.m. last night, and and then I get up and find out that they promote me to be on Uphill Media, and I was going to take the day off, and so I didn't take the day off. I just showed up. I didn't have a story, but yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going along. So I will talk to y'all um, really soon. Hopefully tomorrow I'll do another video and uh, probably won't be live. I'm going to wait till I get more followers before I go live again because I want to have a discussion. It was really cool for Lisa to show up. 
Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Comment below and um, join the channel if you if you want to hear rants about climate change and stuff because right now that's our biggest issue and probably going to be ranting about that a lot. So be prepared. Um, yeah, we'll talk to y'all soon and you guys have a great night.